This bar lesson video number four will be about variable and fixed cost in farming. So first, let's start. This lesson focuses on how to categorize each of our production costs. The total cost of production of a good, in this case a crop, can be expressed into two sections. We have the variable costs and also the fixed cost. Here the key concept. We have variable cost, which varies with level of production. And on the other hand, we have fixed cost, which remain the same no matter the production. The formula will be the following. We have total cost, and this will be equals variable cost plus fixed cost. Tenemos los costos variables y los fijos. En esta lección, lección número 4, nos vamos a enfocar en cómo categorizar cada costo. El costo total de producción de un bien, en nuestro caso cultivo, puede ser expresado en dos secciones. Tenemos costo variable y el costo fijo. Es importante mencionar que el costo variable varía conforme el nivel de producción. Y para el costo fijo, este costo se mantendrá igual sin importar el número de producción. Nuestra fórmula sería costo total igual a costo variable más costo fijo. This is a cost that varies with the level of production. In this case, it increases when producing more goods or services. On the other hand, it's going to decrease when producing less goods or services. In agriculture, we have different examples in this case. For instance, uh, we have a variable cost, which can be seeds, land preparation, chemicals like herbicides, insecticides, pesticides, um, then fertilizers, irrigation, and hourly labor. Tenemos el costo variable. Um, para entrar más a detalle, el costo variable, como mencioné al principio, varía con el nivel de producción. Por un caso, va a incrementar al momento de producir más bienes y servicios, y del otro lado, va a, va a disminuir al momento de producir menos bienes y servicios. Un ejemplo en el mundo de la agricultura, este, en, que sería el costo de producción variable, sería semillas, preparación de tierra, químicos como herbicidas, pesticidas, insecticidas, Fertilizantes, riegos y trabajo. Trabajo en horas. Let's move on to the next part, based on a farming case. So the fewer acres the farmer is planning to farm, it's going to be equal to a decrease in the variable cost. On the other hand, if the farmer plans to produce more acres um, in his farm or her farm, we're going to have an increase in the variable cost. Our formula for the variable cost is going to be equal cost per unit times the total number of units. Costo variable basándonos en un caso agrícola. Al principio podemos ver, el menor número de acres un agricultor planea cultivar nos va a llevar a una disminución del costo variable. Del otro lado, si el agricultor planea este, incrementar sus acres, Esto va a llevarnos a un incremento en el costo variable. Nuestra fórmula es la siguiente. Tenemos costo variable total, que va a ser igual al costo por unidad por número de unidades, este, número total de unidades. A type of cost, we have the fixed cost, which, as I mentioned it at the beginning, this is, a, this is a cost that does not change when the amount of production changes. So in the case of having a farmer that produces higher or lower production, he will not have an impact in the in the total cost. So let's go um, for an example in this case study. Um, the type of fixed cost when producing a crop will be we have machinery running, such as a tractor, we have land rent, and in this case we have salary labor. Ahora eh, tenemos costo fijo, el cual es un costo que no cambia respecto a la producción. Ya sea muy alta, muy baja la producción, Eh, no hay cambios en el costo para el agricultor. En este caso, el tipo de costos fijos al producir un cultivo sería maquinaria en funcionamiento como un tractor, tenemos renta del campo y trabajo, en este caso salario. So now for the fixed cost formula. This is going to be equals total cost of production minus parenthesis variable cost per unit times number of units produced. 
Ahora, para el costo fijo, su fórmula sería igual a costos totales de producción menos, paréntesis, costo variable por unidad por número de unidades producidas. So now we have the total cost, which is the total amount based on the variable and the fixed cost. First, we have total economic cost of production. Then, TC, or better known as a total cost, in economics consists of variable cost and fixed cost. It is important to know your variable and fixed cost in order to analyze how profitable the farm will be if the farmer decides to farm more or less acres. For this reason, I'm going to present you guys, um, after these uh, slides, a case involved in two different scenarios uh, in the same farm. The farmer will have the chance to, or the option to farm less, less crops or more. And then we'll see what's the impact based on the variable of increasing your production and decreasing it. And also the impacts on the fixed cost when you increase or decrease your production. Ahora, empezando con el costo total, esto va a ser el costo que incluye costo, de, costo variable más el costo fijo. Como dije aquí, el CT, o mejor conocido como el costo total en la economía, consiste en costos variables más los fijos. Es importante tener en cuenta tus costos variables y fijos para poder analizar qué tan rentable el cultivo es. Esto ayudará al agricultor a saber qué es mejor, si desearía a lo mejor cultivar más o a lo mejor menos, depende en su escenario. Por, este, por esta razón voy a presentar un caso en Excel donde un agricultor tendrá dos opciones en su, en su campo. Una, incrementar su producción y la otra, eh, disminuir la producción. Eh, veremos los efectos que hay al momento de incrementar. Eh, estos efectos serían enfocados en costos variables y en los costos fijos. Al igual que al momento de disminuir tu producción, veremos cuál es el efecto en su costo variable y en su costo fijo. So now we're going to stop. And these are the instructions for quiz and case reports. First thing to do is, um, after watching the video and learning about variable, fixed, and total cost, complete the variable and fixed costs in farming quiz. Once you're done uh, with the quiz and also saw the review of the, of the quiz, download the Excel for Agribusiness case studies file and open case for worksheet. This will be located in the, in the bottom the bottom tabs of the software. Now start filling in the blanks, uh, spaces, which will be the totals in both sections. We have the variable and fixed cost for 50 acres, and the second section will be about 100 acre case report tables. Ahora nos detendremos por un momento. Estas son las instrucciones para el folleto de la lección. Después de ver el video y aprender sobre los costos variables, fijos y totales, Completa el cuestionario sobre costos variables y fijos en la agricultura. Una vez que termines con el cuestionario y termines con el, eh, la, revi la revisión que hay en el cuestionario, descarga Excel para casos de agronegocios y abre la hoja de trabajo. Caso número 4. Esta está ubicada en las pestañas inferiores del de software. Después, completa los totales, que son los espacios en blanco en ambas secciones. Tenemos... La primera sección que son tablas de costos variables y fijos en 50 acres y la segunda sección que es lo mismo nada más que en 100 acres. So now, let's stop and start the quiz and case report located in your lesson handout. Ahora deténganse y comiencen el cuestionario tam y también el reporte del caso que están localizados en el folleto de la lección. This is going to be how it looks like. We have the case for a worksheet open. So the case is we have a 100 acre farm range. First option on the left side we have uh, 50 acres and on the right we have 100 acres. So the thing here is we need to um, find the total out of the variable cost. So remember we need to use the sum formula. Select your range, all the values, and that's going to be the, um, the variable cost per, per acre in this case. Now let's find the total variable cost. So let's follow the formula. We have cost per unit, which is for uh, 1,950, 
times the total number of units. In this case, we have 50 acres. So select your cell times 50, and that's going to be the total variable cost. Now, for the fixed cost, we have uh, the tractor, land rent, and salary labor. Same thing, we need to find the total per unit, in this case per acre, that's going to be the total uh, fixed cost. Now we can skip this one for now because we're going to need the total cost of production. But let's move, let's move on to the next um, table, which is the total cost. The total cost is going to be um, equals variable cost plus fixed cost. So we can just add the variable plus the fixed. So that's going to be our uh, total cost when you're producing 50 acres. And after we're done with this, you can see that we I added another a table where that's the total fixed cost. So we need to follow the formula. In this case, we have total cost of production, which is going to be our value that we just got here. Remember, minus parentheses, variable cost per unit times number of units produced. That's a really a familiar formula that we just saw uh, at the beginning of this part of the video, which is going to be our total variable cost formula. You can either um, follow the steps or uh, just click the cell so since you already have the, the value. In this case, I'm just going to go for total cost of production minus. You can either do the parentheses one following the steps or in my case, I'm just going to go for minus the value because we already have that value. So it's going to be, um, as you can see, we have the same value in this case. So we have 83,900, and with this formula, we have the same value. 100 acre case, same thing. As we, as you guys can see, is pretty much the same costs. So just sum. Uh, there's something wrong here. Equals sum. Always remember to be careful with the cells you are selecting. And here, uh, there's going to be a, a difference because our number of units just changed. We have 100 acres now. So you can still select the same cell because that's the same cost um, times now 100 acres. And that's going to be the difference. Now let's go for the fixed cost, which is very much the same. Sum. And same cost, remember. Uh, and then let's find the total cost, which is just the sum of both values, this plus this. Of course, it's going to increase because we are increasing our number of acres. In this case, let's see, let's find the total fixed cost. So now let's, let's see if we are right in this case. Total cost of production minus my total variable cost. And yeah, you can see we have the same fixed cost. So once we're done with this, I'm going to explain to you guys what's the difference, um, what the, the purpose of this video, why we were studying each type of, of variable cost, why economists came up with uh, different classifications in different costs. So this is going to be the impact. So now that we, we're done with this case, this will be our conclusions. So based on our tables and formulas, these are the results for each crop production cost and revenues. For the variable cost, um, and variable and fixed cost for 50 acres, these are going to be our values. We have a variable cost of 247,500, fixed cost of 83,900, and this will be our total cost for that amount or that range of farm. For the 100 acre farm, we have a variable cost that, of course, is going to increase because we are increasing our units. Remember, fixed cost. It's like, okay, what happened here is the same. And then we have the total cost, which of course is going to increase. So the difference, it's going to be not as um, in the variable cost and total cost, of course. But as I said at the beginning, the fixed cost does not change. Does not change either if the farmer decides to increase, in this case, his acres, or maybe he decides to decrease um, the acres in his farm. You see in both cases, our fixed costs were the same. That's, that, is really, that is why this is really important to consider, that our fixed costs 
will never change, and the verbal cost will change based on the number of units the farmer, in this case, decides to produce. Ahora es que basándonos en nuestras tablas y fórmulas, estos serán los resultados de ambos casos de costos variables y costos fijos. Bueno, la primera parte tenemos el caso de 50 acres. En este caso, nuestro costo variable obviamente es $247,500. El costo fijo es de $83,900. Y el costo total, eh, al momento de sumar ambos costos, sale que es $331,400. Ahora, en el otro caso de las 100 acres, tenemos el costo variable que incrementa, y es lógico porque estás incrementando tu número de unidades o número de producción. En el costo fijo, vemos que es igual que el otro, que el otro caso, es de $83,900. Y lógicamente el costo total va a incrementar porque estamos sumando ambos value, este, valores. Ahora, este, aquí llegamos a la conclusión del propósito de por qué estudiar diferentes tipos de costos y por qué los economistas eh, han decidido darle clasificación a cada tipo de, un, de costo en una producción. Pues la importancia que en el costo, vari costo variable todo va a variar. Si el agricultor decide incrementar en este caso, 100 acres, o disminuir a 50 acres, su costo va a variar. En el, en el caso del costo fijo, no importa el número de, de acres que el agricultor desea incrementar o, o, o a lo mejor bajar de número de acres. Al final de cuentas, es el mismo costo. Por eso, esto es un costo fijo. Y lo podemos notar en ambos casos, que al momento de incrementar, tenemos ambos, en, el, en ambos casos tenemos el mismo costo. 83,900 y esto no cambia. Pero bueno, esto fue todo sobre la lección número 4.